what's up welcome back to my channel welcome to another video so today I have my extensions in if you guys watched my last two videos I did a part one and part two on the V sunny extensions from Amazon purchased these on Amazon and the hype is real um, I curled them they took really well to heat so I'm actually really excited with them and so I will link part one and part two below but I wanted to just open up the video by uh, showing you how they look because um, in the video I had just basically unboxed them and so they were straight but most of the time I wear my hair like this because as you can tell by the shortest layer in my hair um, my hair ends about here and so when the extensions are curled to me I always think that they look the most natural so this is what they look like and I just kind of put like a slight little wave in them and I always recommend using a heat protection spray so that's what I did I just sprayed the hair and then curled my hair and I feel like you know together it blends really nicely so without further ado I am going to be doing a skincare favorites video with you guys today I was gonna do just like a monthly favorites from the month of April, everything that I've been using and loving. However, between makeup and skincare, you guys know I'm obsessed with skincare, it was just gonna be too long. So I am going to be doing a separate makeup favorites video, but these are all the skincare favorites that I've been using pretty much over the past couple of months. But I will call this my April favorites video. And again, this will be skincare focused. So if you don't care about skincare, skip this one. And I will have a makeup one coming very soon. But without further ado, I have a lot of products. I have like, oh gosh, like almost 20 products here. And the videos always go so long. So I'm just going to hop right in. I'm not going to do any particular order. I was going to do like, okay, makeup pre-cleansers and then cleansers. But I'm just going to kind of grab here. So I will start with, um, to make it a little bit easier, some of the things that I do to basically clean my skin. And um, one of the things that I've been loving is the Innisfree Hydrating Cleansing Oil with Green Tea. I've been using this for months and you can see like I'm only about halfway through it. So just one pump and basically I use this to prep my skin for cleansing. So it is a cleansing oil and basically I just put a pump and it smears everything like any kind of mascara or heavy eye makeup. It just loosens it all up to prepare the skin for cleansing. So I think this is pretty inexpensive, under $20. I don't have the exact price. I know that this is available on Innisfree.com as well as Sephora.com and I really, really love it. Also, it has that nice refreshing green tea scent, but this breaks down the makeup really well and does not leave an oily residue, so I love it so much. Cleansers, I've been loving these two in particular. This is the Naked Papaya Cleanser from Kinship. I use this so much over the winter break. I brought this with me to New York, and first of all, oh my gosh, the smell to die for. It's the juiciest, best smelling cleanser I've just ever used. This is super gen gentle. It's the Gentle Enzyme Face Cleanser and it's called Naked Papaya. Again, a super inexpensive cleanser. So I love, love, love this. And if you're on a budget, you will definitely be into this. And uh, let's see, don't be shy. Use daily for soft, healthy looking skin. It's an AM and PM cleanser. Use two to three pumps on damp skin to melt away dirt oil, makeup, rinse, and it's good for all skin types. So that's one of my favorite cleansers I've been using. Another cleanser, you would have seen this in a recent uh, K-Beauty unboxing that I did here on my channel. This is a cleansing balm stick. It's Chalk Chalk Oil to Foam uh, Cleanser from OK Beauty. So, it looks like actually like a deodorant. I've seen a lot of natural deodorants kind of look like this. So this is super good, especially for travel. I like the really compact size. And I don't know why I've been using it and it's kind of uneven, but I just basically roll this all over my face on dry skin. And then I add a little water and really foam it up on the skin. 
it's just such a nice cleanser. I tend to use this in the morning. I think it's a great AM cleanser, but I guess you can use it for PM too. Uh, and again, it says it's made with essential oils and oil to foam consistency. So just wanted to recommend this because I've really been loving it. And I think when I move from um, LA to Florida, I'm going to pack this in my little travel bag for my cross country travels because it's just really small and a really great um, cleanser to travel with. What next? Let's go ahead and do a toner. I've been using this toner so much. This is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner from Good Molecules. I love Good Molecules. Let me just put the camera up a little here. I love Good Molecules. I think they make really great, inexpensive skincare products. This is one of my favorite things that they've sent me. It's formulated with niacinamide, which if you don't know, niacinamide is a great ingredient to really help even out the skin tone. It gets rid of, um, helps brighten, helps even out the skin tone, gets rid of, you know, different acne scarring and things like that, or at least lighten it up. This one also has vitamin C, arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve the appearance of, oh, enlarged pores. That's another thing that niacinamide is great for, shrinking pores, and just really balancing and brightening out skin tone. So love this, I'm almost done with it. There's just a tiny bit left here. I know it's a dark bottle, but there's just a little bit left. So I wanted to mention this because it's been one of my favorite toners. Next up, let's uh, talk about some, actually, you know what, before we get into masks, I'm gonna mention another pre-cleanse. So this was the other pre-cleanse I had mentioned, the Innisfree Hydrating Cleansing Oil. Another thing I like to use to break down my makeup, and I rotate between actually about three of them, only two made it to my favorites video, but this is the Pharmacy Very Cherry Clean. If you've ever used the, I think it's called Green Clean, um, it's basically like a melt away cleansing balm. They had like a limited edition uh, cherry scent that I just really fell in love with. The smell is amazing. I'm almost done with this, so I'm really sad. Uh, I leave this in there because it's just really easy. So you take about that much and that's all you really need. And then I just smear it across my forehead, down each of my cheeks. And this one is just so good about melting down all of the makeup and then you just rinse it away and pretty much all of your makeup is gone. It's amazing. So, oh my gosh, this just smells so delicious. I love the cherry scent and it's pink. It's just so pretty and cute. So um, almost done with this, but I, I'm not sure if this is going to be part of their permanent collection, but I... I thought it was limited edition, so I ran out and I purchased it right away because I did not want uh, basically them to get rid of this before I had a chance to try it. So loving this, another good way to pre-cleanse the skin. Next, let's get into some masks because you guys know I am the masking queen. So I'm gonna mention, I have so many, but I'm just gonna mention pretty much like four of my favorites. There's no really particular order to these. They all do very different things. So I'm just gonna mention all of them and I'll kind of tell you why I like each of them. This is a newer purchase. This is the Origins Drink Up and I had tried this um, face mask before. A girlfriend of mine had it and it was just the regular Drink Up. This I believe is a new scent. So this is the Drink Up 10 Minute Hydrating Mask with Apricot and Glacier Water super fruity and refreshing smelling. And I use this, ugh, the apricot smell in this is just divine. Anytime I really feel like I my skin is parched, whether I've been in the sun or you know use products and it's just very dry, I like to put this on and I leave it on for more than 10 minutes, but it really is just like a 10 minute mask. So I use this for hydration, for exfoliating. Um, I go back in between, uh, back and forth between a manual exfoliator as well as a chemical. So the Peach and Lily Super Reboot Resurfacing Mask. I've been using this for so long and it literally looks like I really haven't used it much, but that's because it just a little bit goes a long way. So this one helps, um, it's got AHA and BHA and blue algae. This was gifted to me at a uh, skincare event. 
I believe this is super expensive. Like I wanna say 65 to $70, but again, I've used this so many times and I haven't even made a dent in it. So my feeling is, is that if you purchase this, it will last you forever. Um, you're supposed to leave this on 15 to 20 minutes. Um, for more, like I guess this has a 10% AHA, 5% BHA, and blue agave. Unglues dead skin cells and degunks down to deep lining of pores. Meanwhile, hyaluronic acid. Um, chamomile and aloe soothe and hydrate. So basically you're gonna use this when you wanna really like get rid of um, congestion in the skin. So I use this about once a week. You can probably use it as often as twice a week, but I definitely would not use it daily. It's um, really intense. And in fact, when you put this on, there is a slight burning sensation, which to me just means like it's killing all the dead skin cells that aren't supposed to be on your face anyway. But that feeling does, that sensation does go away like after a couple of minutes. So the burning does not last indefinitely. If you can just get past those initial minute uh, or two, the, the stinging should subside. If you have sensitive skin, I would not use this more than once a week. It says mild tingling is normal. Um, you're going to let it dry for 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse with lukewarm water. Use one to two times per week. Um, follow obviously with a moisturizer and then it says you know if you are super sensitive um, you may want to just use this like once a week so just want to recommend this it says to retexturize soften and glow so that is more of my chemical exfoliator for manual exfoliation I just started using this but I've used it probably five or six times now and I'm super obsessed with it. This is the Honey and Mint Clay Mask from the Victoria's Secret Pink line. This has the most delicious scent I've ever smelled. It's a honey sweet smell, but it's super minty smelling too. So it's got like the perfect balance of like peppermint and sweet. Um, what I love about this is it has those beads in it, but they're super fine. So, um, you basically put this on, you let it dry, and you'll see that there's little bits of like lemon peel in it, so it's kind of like a bumpy mask. And it says, get clean and gently exfoliate with this minty fresh um, mask and scrub all in one peppermint oil, scrubby bits of lemon peel and pure honey nourish and smooth skin in one step. So this is more of a manual exfoliator. You're going to let it dry, and then once you rinse it off with warm water, you're gonna start like basically using circular motions and all of the bits of the lemon peel will help uh, manually exfoliate the skin. So I really, really love this. It smells delicious. And again, another good exfoliator. If you are a chemical one, I gave you a choice. And if you love more manual exfoliators, the clay mask is a great one. Another one that I use for like basically I would say degunking or deep cleaning the skin is this Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask. It says with twice the super volcanic clusters. This has the most beautiful, usually clay masks are like that dark clay. This has the most beautiful light gray color. It's got like just a very light scent to it. And I just love this whenever I wanna really clean out the pores. I won't use it everywhere. I'll usually use it like on my T-zone. So anywhere where I have enlarged pores or congestion, I just kind of, you can also use it as a spot treatment for um, any kind of like acne or pimples that are coming up, but I love this. And I believe this is like $15 and it lasts a long time. Really nice price point for a fairly, um, luxurious brand. It's definitely more on the indie side, but they sell us at Sephora as well as Innisfree.com. So another good Innisfree product. Again, this was Innisfree as well. I have three things. I didn't realize how much I love Innisfree, but all of their products are super good. If you watched my recent video on my top favorite foundations and Innisfree foundation, made it to that video as well. So Innisfree is a Kate Beauty skincare brand. Uh, but they are sold at Sephora now, but their ingredients are amazing. And when I was just men mentioning in the other video that like when a skincare focused brand releases makeup, I just pounce on it because I know that they're gonna have really good ingredients in it. Um, so anyway, these are two of the skincare products that made it. 
but this one is also Innisfree, so I'll mention it really quickly. This is the Innisfree Pore Clearing Facial Foam with Volcanic Clusters. I love this. In fact, I put the green tea version of this because this is the volcanic one, the pore clearing volcanic cleanser. I there the green tea is like an entire line, so I added the green tea cleanser that kind of looks like this except the bottle is green to my cart because I love this one so much. So I'm like if it's anything like this formula, I think I'm going to love that one just as much. So basically this is a you might think with the uh, volcanic clusters that it would be dark, but it's actually a white, really creamy cleanser. When I am done breaking down all of the makeup with this oil pre-cleanse, I go in with this. It's so amazing. You put it on, I basically spread it on, massage it, you know, for 30 seconds and then add a little water and it all foams up and makes like a really sudsy, nice, hydrating almost really creamy uh foamy suds so i love this so much it's got these tiny little volcanic clusters that are supposed to be pore clearing but really i i find this very gentle and very hydrating um and i love the the cleansing foam formula so i'm definitely looking try forward to trying other of their cleansers that are kind of similar to this formula Okay, next I want to talk about the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is a treatment, so it's an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. Again, if you're going to be doing a chemical exfoliator, I do not recommend using two exfoliating treatments. Your skin will be stripped and will definitely fight back. A lot of purging happens, or if you overly strip your skin, it can actually do the opposite and make you break out. So if you're going to do any kind of um, mask, I do not recommend doing a serum or a treatment that also has exfoliators in it or any kind of acid because your skin will really, really not like you for it. Um, and I would, don't want to do anything that would um, actually prompt a breakout. So definitely look into when you're using acids or any kind of ex chemical exfoliator that you're not using like two treatments in like one skincare routine. With that being said, this one deeply exfoliates the dull surface of the skin for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. It says it visibly brightens the appearance of the appearance of age spots and discolorations, uh, instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes. This is very pricey. I think I paid $160 for this, but when I was using this consistently and you're like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. Um, I actually fell in love with this product because Sunday Riley, which makes good jeans, had like a kit where you had the good jeans and the Sunday Ry Riley uh, Luna sleeping oil. It had like both of them for 85 and so I had bought that as a Christmas gift to myself one year and when I was done with this I was like I cannot live without this product. So when I got my new job and I was making good money I treated myself to good jeans and um, I don't use this every single night. I think you could if you wanted to, if you weren't using like a chemical exfoliating face mask or anything like that. Um, but because it's so expensive, I just use this about three times a week. I would say every two to three days, I'll, you know, put this on my skin. And um, yeah, whenever my skin is like looking like it's dull or I'm going to get a breakout, this usually clears it right up and it really takes away the look of not only pore size, but dark spots, discoloration, things like that. But whew, that is a hefty price point. So I will not uh, begrudge you if you decide to skip this one, but if you have the money and you wanna treat yourself, this is an amazing, amazing treatment. I've also heard something really similar to this, which is half the price or at least like a, a chunk off of what this costs is the Honeymoon Glow from Pharmacy. I definitely want to try that. A lot of people had said that's a really similar or in terms of like the um, the results, you get a really similar result and Pharmacy is like more of a cleaner beauty brand. So I definitely want to try that too. But right now, Sunday Riley Good Jeans is definitely like one of my favorite products. So I had to mention it. But again, if you're looking for a cleaner, less expensive dupe, try the Honeymoon Glow from Pharmacy. I think you might like that. Okay, a couple more things. Oh my gosh, I did not realize I have another Innisfree product. 
Holy moly, I did not realize. So again, we have the cleansing oil, the foaming uh, cleanser, we had the mask, and I didn't realize that I included the Dewy Glow Jelly Cream. So this has the Jeju Cherry Blossom in it. What I love about this moisturizer, it is super lightweight. It's got the coolest jelly formula. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to even see this because it is actually a clear jelly. Now I was thinking it almost looked like Vaseline. I was like, oh my gosh, is this gonna be heavy? Is it gonna be too thick on the skin? It looks like a heavy jelly, but it's actually the most lightweight moisturizer. It's got the most beautiful, light, refreshing scent. So love this for a day moisturizer, very lightweight, goes on really well under makeup and um, I'll just read you a quick little thing on it. It says a clear gel cream that delivers abundant hydration to dry and dull skin for a moist and revitalized look. This is a fairly new product so just wanted to mention it because I do love it. Okay. Next, I want to just quickly mention another product from Good Molecules. This is the Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. This is a fairly new product. Um, I've only had one other product that uh, is eye patches that I was using. So when I got a chance to use another one, I got really excited. These are super, super hydrating and I think these are gonna be perfect for summer. Because anytime your skin is parched from too much sun, I'm just gonna plop these on to add a little more moisture to the skin. I'll just take one out. So you have a little, you have a little thing to pick up. And they're super paper thin. This is what they look like. You can see the clear. And they're just, you just put them on underneath the eye. Wow, my hands are shaking so much. It's 3.15 and I haven't had any lunch today and two cups of coffee. So I apologize, my hands are shaking in half of the video, but that is what they look like and super hydrating for the under eye area. Another thing I recently mentioned in a video, if you guys saw my Victoria's Secret haul, I mentioned that I got a bunch of scrubs and one of the scrubs that I've been really obsessed with, this is the one I dug into first. It's the Bronze Coconut with Coconut Milk Smoothing Body Scrub. An exfoliating body scrub is so important for the summer because as you're tanning, if you want to keep your tan even, you have to make sure that you're not, you know, having um, a ton of dead skin cells pile up. So every couple of days, I make sure I'm exfoliating the body. These smell so nice and coconutty and perfect for summer. So I just wanted to briefly mention this. You heard me talk about it in my Victoria's Secret pin call, but I'm like already almost halfway done with it. I've just been using it obsessively uh, as my body scrub of choice right now in the shower. Another moisturizer I wanted to quickly mention. I love the face milks from 4th Ray Beauty. This one is a newer purchase. It is the Papaya Face Milk. I ran out of my watermelon face milk. I have a little bit of my rose face milk left and just want to try a new one. This one said it was really good for oily combination skin and I love the scent. I love how lightweight these feel on the skin. And again, it said that the ingredients in this one were really good for um, oily combo skin. So wanted to recommend a really inexpensive thing. I think these go for 14 now. You can probably get them on sale for closer to 10. The other smaller bottles used to be 10, but I believe now that they've upgraded to a larger size, I think they retail about 14 or $15. By the way, if you guys don't know, I do have a 4th Ray Beauty haul, skincare haul up on my channel. It's from months ago, but I will link it down below if you guys are interested. There's so many good products from 4th Ray Beauty. And if you are unaware, this is actually the sister company to ColourPop. So this is basically their like skincare brand. Okay, last couple of items. I have an eye cream here from the brand The Inky List. This is a brand I, I actually want to try more of their products. Um, right now this is the only, oh actually I have two of their products right now. I want to purchase a vitamin C um, serum from them so that one is in my cart currently on Sephora. But right now I've really been enjoying this. This is an eye cream. One of my favorite things about this if you can tell 
is it has one of those metal tips. So when you put it on the under eye, it's really cooling. It feels like ice cold and refreshing. And you just squeeze it, the product comes out of the middle there. And oh my gosh, if you wanted to keep this in the refrigerator, it'd probably feel even colder. But love, love, love this formula and I love the little uh, tip. And now, finally, we'll talk about a bunch of lip care products. But first, just wanted to mention my roller. A bunch of places sell these. You can find them really inexpensive at like Marshalls and um, what's another one? Marshalls, TJ Maxx. This one you can get off revolutionskincare.com. And um, this is the rose quartz one. I love having a roller because when I put on my serums, I just really massage this into the skin using my rose quartz roller. So again, you can use your fingers, you can pat into the skin, but if you have a roller, I feel like this is not only good for lymphatic drainage, but you can also massage the skin and really um, help it helps the products, I think, absorb into the skin a little bit quicker and easier, and it feels really good too. It's like a nice little facial massage. Okay, last couple of products. Two, again, from Innisfree. So this basically should be an Innisfree skincare haul. Uh, these, okay, so quick little side story. I used to be obsessed with the Glossier Bomb.coms. You can see the obsession is real here. I have like six of them. These are very thick. They have like a Vaseline type consistency. Love all the scents. I'm still obsessed with the product, so I'm not gonna say anything bad about it. But these, oh my gosh, so similar. Probably cheaper. I think this is like a half the price point. And these smell ridiculously good. And I would say the formula is a little bit lighter, so there's more of like, those are thick, like a balm. And these are more, this is lip balm too, but I, I just think that the formula is not as, um, not as thick as the Vaseline. So this is a little bit more comfortable on the lips. If you want to go like this, you know, definitely would um, be a little bit easier than the Vaseline type formula. So I have Sky Vanilla Tea here. I pretty much have like almost all of their different scents. I think there's six or seven of them. The Sky Vanilla Tea is just like a really beautiful vanilla scent. This one is clear. The rest, however, have a nice tint to them. So I just love these. I don't believe that there's any SPF in them, which stinks, I wish there was, but basically they have various different tea scents. So this is Sky Vanilla Tea. This is a Wild Hibiscus Tea. They have Earl Grey. They have Rose Petal Tea. They're all different tea scents, which is really cute since it's a K-Beauty brand. But I just love this formula. So you have a little squeeze tip here. And the ones other than the Sky Vanilla Tea all have a little color to them. So I'll just put this one on. You can see it just adds a light little tint to the lips, but beautiful formula, super hydrating, and I love the color payoff. It just gives the lips a little tint of color. Obsessed. I want all of them like an indefinite stock of these. Okay, and last but not least, I have a really beautiful hydrating lip oil from Ciate London. They, their original scent was watermelon and then they came out with three other ones. I have two of the three other ones. So this one is mango and lime. It's probably my favorite, super summery and like tropical smelling. These leave the most iridescent sheen to the lips. In fact, let me see, I wasn't going to do this, but let me just try to show you what it looks like. I'll blot my lips. They also have acai and yuzu and then i think there's like a grapefruit one they're all smell really good and all really high shine so like look how shiny so pretty i love the smell of these so pretty much obsessed it's their nourishing lip oil and again this one is my favorite it's mango and lime but all of them are really good and last but not least, you guys have seen me, if you follow me on my Instagram stories and I do like my skincare routine of the day, I mention this one a lot. I love the Laneige Sleeping 
mask, lip sleeping mask. I have the original and I wanted to try a new scent and they released a couple around Christmas or holiday. And I believe this one, this is the sweet candy one, was so popular that they made it part of their permanent collection. They also had like a mint chocolate and a, I believe a vanilla. I am obsessed. Again, smells so good, like so good. Smells like candy, so it's a perfect name, sweet candy, but I mean, it says lip sleeping mask. I pretty much wear this 24 seven. Again, leaves the prettiest, I'll do a, another thing. Leaves the prettiest like sheen on the lips. And smells so good. I wish some of these had SPF in them so you can wear them to the beach and your lips didn't get burned, but I just love me a good lip balm. So just wanted to mention this one as well. So I think that's it, you guys. Over 30 minutes, of course, would it be a skincare haul unless it was 800 years long? <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, drop them below. If not, I will see you guys all in my next video.